Warren Gamaliel Harding Cressy was born in Corpus Christi, Texas on January 4, 1923. Those who knew him called him Harding. He and his wife Margaret grew up together as childhood friends. One Sunday, when she was nine and Harding was twelve, he showed up at her house all dressed up with a bouquet of flowers and a carton of ice cream for her mother. Cressy announced he had come to ask for Margaret to marry him when she reached 18 years old. Nine years later, they did just that. It was an early example of Harding's qualities of determination and persistence. But first, Cressy enlisted in the U.S. Army after he graduated high school. That was right around the time the U.S. entered into the Second World War. After basic training, he was sent to the 761st Tank Battalion, where he became a tank commander. General Leslie J. McNair, the commander of Army Ground Forces, wanted African Americans to be able to serve in combat. Most African Americans who joined the armed forces at the time served in supporting roles, such as cooks. McNair believed that they should be able to fight as they had done in past conflicts. However, federal law forbade black troops from serving in the same units as white troops. Thus, among other African American units, the 761st Tank Battalion was created as an independent battalion. That meant that they were segregated, but they still had to be commanded by white officers. The 761st was called the Black Panthers due to their logo, and their motto was Come Out Fighting. The battalion lived up to its motto during its sojourn in Europe with its members receiving several awards, including a Medal of Honor. Among the Black Panthers who distinguished themselves was Cressy. Not that this particular baby-faced tank commander looked the part of a killer. Cressy wore horn-rimmed glasses and had soft fuzz on his upper lip that never seemed to quite make it into a proper mustache. He was said to be quiet, polite, easygoing, even meek and shy. He was generally considered the nicest man in the battalion. However, there is a saying that still waters run deep. Having grown up in a time when blacks in the South were treated as subhuman, Cressy's waters must have run deep indeed. Before long, his reputation as a fighter directly contradicted his nice guy appearance. Corporal Harry Tyree, Cressy's tank driver, was nervous in his job because Cressy seemed to become another person once the fighting began. The 761st saw action in France in early November of 1944 in the towns of Moyenvic, vic and morville le -Vic. By the end of the month, they had lost 24 men and 14 tanks. Sergeant Cressy often rode atop his tank, firing away at German soldiers. He would bark orders at Tyree to drive into the thick of the battle, not caring how vulnerable he was. His superiors reprimanded him for reckless conduct, but never punished him for it. After all, it was a war and they knew that he was exactly the type of man that they needed. On November 10, 1944, outside the commune of Morvie in Normandy's Monch department, Cressy was with D Company when his unit came under fire, which destroyed his tank. Jumping out of the burning machine with only a 30 caliber machine gun, he ran towards an enemy machine gun nest and destroyed it. He then took out another enemy position following that. Later, he had finally found himself back in a functioning tank doing screening operations when an infantry lieutenant of the 26th Division flagged him down. The officer wanted a lift through the woods and up a nearby hill to get a better view of the fighting. He believed a tank would improve his chances of reaching his goal alive. The going was rough, though. Heavy snow lay on the ground, and the tank's treads kept slipping and sliding. Sometimes the vehicle got bogged down. It would only get worse, though, as they made their way up the hill. They had just broken out of the cover of the trees near the summit when they came under enemy fire. Cressy, riding exposed on the top of the tank, ordered Tyree to back up into the woods, and Tyree did so straight away. Unfortunately, that put him straight into an anti-tank ditch covered by snow. The tank got stuck, exposing its underbelly to the enemy fire. Ducking back inside, Cressy radioed for help. Another tank would arrive minutes later. Braving intense enemy fire, Cressy jumped out of the hatch and ran to the other tank and attached a winch to his own tank. After his tank had been pulled out of the ditch, he climbed back in just as an armor-piercing shell bounced off the right side of its hole. Tyree tried to move back into the tree line, but the tank would not budge. Meanwhile, Cressy saw that German machine gunners were pinning down the infantry unit behind the rescuing tank, so he used the tank's 50 caliber machine gun to mow the enemy down. He knocked out several machine gun positions, relieving the infantry so that they could continue their advance. 
When they would eventually get out, hours later, they again came under fire from several machine gun nests. Seeing some of his friends get hit caused Cressy to go berserk, determined to kill as many Germans as possible. Altogether, he personally destroyed multiple machine gun nests in an anti-tank position that day with no regard for his own safety. When the battle was finally over, his unit had to pry his empty machine gun out of his hands. This is what would result in him being called the baddest man in the 761st. After the battle, he would be nominated for the Medal of Honor. He would instead receive the Silver Star. He also earned a battlefield commission as a second lieutenant. After the Second World War, Cressy remained in the army and went on to serve in the Korean War, where he would unfortunately be badly wounded. He would go on to retire from the army as a major in 1965. While it is greatly unfortunate that Cressy did not receive the Medal of Honor, which you could argue he did deserve and did not receive because of discrimination at the time, but he should be remembered as a hero and the baddest man in the 761st. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more content.